author Guy Coules spent 15 years observing the work of two artists who he refers to as the definers of the first decade of 21st century contemporary dance history. Belgian-Moroccan choreographer Sidi Larbi Charkawi and British Bengali choreographer Akram Khan began their public careers at the turn of the millennium. Kools witnessed the formation of their first individual group pieces, Rush for Khan, already a well-known performer of Indian Catholic dance, and Rien de Rien for Charkawi in 2000. Kools was there for the first steps in their public careers as choreographers, and he was there the moment their careers converged in the creation of Zero Degrees. He wrote a book about it in the context of culture and identity. It's called In Between Dance Cultures on the Migratory Artistic Identity of Sidi Lavi Sherkawi and Akram Khan. So both uh, Lavi um, and Akram have um, the second generation migrants, although this notion is, is they problematize this notion themselves. Uh, Akram has uh, is British with a Bengali background and, and Lavi is um, half Flemish and half uh, Moroccan. And uh, they created both a quite um, successful choreographic oeuvre uh, in which they question and problematize their own identity. But they do it in a, in a very uh, also optimistic and positive way. And, um, and I think this was one of the main reasons uh, for me to write this book that I wanted to also to um, show um, that around the notion of migration that also like offer a, um, a positive narrative. I mean, these days, with the, especially now with the refugee crisis in Europe and then the recent um, uh, terror attacks in Paris, the media mainly uh, offer negative narratives about migration and uh, I think there's a, a need and, and culture and the arts in particular can have the power to offer these positive narratives like that. And this is also what Akram and Lavi have been doing uh, systematically over the 15 years of their career um, and reaching out also to, to large uh, audiences like that. So this isn't just about dance? I use I use I use both of them as as uh, as, yeah, as as kind of um, uh, yeah. I mean this book is about dance, but there's there's a whole chapter uh, also about um, a more philosophical theoretical chapter on uh, the notion of identity and how we be, we form our identity, and and I fundamentally believe that everybody um, has an identity in between. Uh, this is a notion of a, of a French psychiatrist and philosopher, Daniel Siboni, who, who wrote a lot about the in-between. One of his books is called The Entre Deux, like the in-between. He himself had a mixed background, Jewish, Arabic and French. Uh, and he, he describes how like, every child grows up between the kind of influences of the, of the mother and the father and has to create his own identity in between these two influences. So this is one of the notions, and, and both Akram and Lavi have been always very explicit uh, when they talk about their choreographic work. They also um, they talk about these these different cultures they grew up in, and, and, and they had to negotiate between. In the case of Lavi, it was really to have um, parents from like two different cultural identities. In the case of Akram, it's more how he had to ne negotiate the culture at home with his parents and then the host culture in, uh, growing up in, in London like that. Mm -hmm. So the two, uh, they work together, they create dance works together, um, they're based in London? No, mm -hmm. like one is, this is also quite, one is based in Belgium, the other is, is based in London and um, they both have, they, 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 most of the time they create, I mean they only made one piece together 
which is an iconic piece uh, which was premiered in uh, 2005, which is called Zero Degrees. Um, and they made that piece just because they, 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 they met quite early in their career and they discovered all these similarities, but also the differences between the two of them. And out of that came a desire to, to make a piece together, and which is quite special. Zero Degrees tell, is, tells a, a narrative of a, of a journey of Akram going back uh, to India and Bangladesh uh, and being confronted with uh, this notion of being a foreigner in his home, in the culture that he uh, actually uh, comes from. Uh, but then the other part of the piece is it's also a lamentation for a dead body on a train. And the piece um, premiered a couple of days after the London bombings in 2005. So uh, for the first audience, it was also very much a piece about what actually happened in the world at that time. Um, and they both have this mixed background of um, like growing up in Western Europe but also have a, a Muslim uh, background like that. I think the work of uh, Labi and Akram is special about is because they've also been systematically, especially Labi, he has been um, himself and also with his dancers been studying very different uh, dance cultures and then putting them together on stage and not trying to blend them but he's always he's always very respectful when he when he's uh, learns a new uh, dance culture and then showing that they can coexist uh, on stage um, instead of kind of being conflictuous like that and this again is, is uh, just one example there are many of them i was just reading um uh, last week also the, the, the book uh, Bousseau, which is a novel who got the Prix Goncourt, the highest literary um, 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 prize in, um, in France. And it's basically, a, it's a novel, but the novel tells a story about how um, the Middle East and Europe have always culturally uh, been influencing each other, and how a big part even of the, the classical novel literature and music have been influenced by, by uh, the Arabic world. Um, and, and again, this is I think what, what the arts can offer. They can offer um, positive narratives against the negative narratives that dominate in, um, in, in the general media like that. Now it's not about, uh, again, a, this in-between position between cultures or between dance cultures, that it's not about blending the two cultures into some a hybrid that something new but then it's really about letting the two cultures to influence each other anyway like by just living together like in a respectful way and then how they start to influence each other anyway like by just living together on the stage but this is also a metaphor for i think uh, the, the current society we live in like, mm -hmm. Okay. And, then, and then there's also something very specific about dance, that it is about uh, the body and somatics. Uh, and, and this is sometimes, um, how do you say, more powerful than, than uh, words or rhetoric. Because uh, we are actually human beings, like, on the stage together, who represent all these... I think there, there's this one piece that... Um, that Lambi made, which is called Babel, and it is about the, the myth of Babel, the different languages. And in that piece, there are uh, uh, like 18 people from 18 different nationalities speak, or there's like 13 different nationalities speak 18 languages. So this together on stage and mm -hmm. coexisting. Mm -hmm. And for sure, there's moments where, where there might be some tension, but they also show how they need to collaborate in order to create a work like that. So you've been traveling and promoting your book recently? Yeah. Yes, so the book is published by uh, Valis, who's a publishing house in Amsterdam, and they have a, a be really beautiful um, uh, range of uh, books. They specialize in arts books, but they also publish um, a lot of more theoretical works. And the book is part of a larger series, which is called Arts in Society, um, and so which all deals with um, arts, but in relationship with larger topics, politics, economics, um, sociology. 
And so um, I've been promoting the book, uh, I think, to two types of audiences. On the one hand, um, I've been presenting the book uh, combined when Akram and Lavi are doing some of their performances, or so as recently in Bruges, where Lavi was presenting his new um, production, and I gave a lecture on his work, and there was also um, a presentation of the book. And the next presentation I will do is in Dublin, which will be in um, uh, December the 11th. And there it's a two-day international conference, um, and the title is Who Am I? And it's basically a conference, and it's, it's interesting because the conference also some Canadian people are participating. Um, and it, it's a conference on the question how uh, artists today are um, by the very nature of their profession, nomadic, and how they, how this nomadic life, the nomadic life of an artist, how that kind of influences uh, their work. But the artist is, is just, again, uh, in that sense, representative, I think, for a large part of the population who is kind of obliged to, to live this more nomadic existence. Um, and uh, I, will, I will give a keynote speech uh, about some of the ideas in the book, but there's also, uh, there was a, I think the last two or three years there have been an exchange project between Europe and Canada with artists from Montreal and also from Vancouver participating and, and exactly uh, also um, studying migration as a subject uh, and then creating work out of that. And some of these artists will also present their work in, uh, in Dublin as part of this conference by now.